All right, so we've been working for about 20, 30 minutes or so, mapping out everything, fi trying to find where the fault was. I ran uh, a voltmeter from the battery all the way until I stopped understanding the circuits to the electric motor. And there seems to be power going the whole way, but yet it still wasn't running. So I opened up all the plugs and uh, I, I'm a rigger, not an electrician, so I put Lanacode in because this stuff is great for stopping corrosion. So I figured, hey, maybe it'll help and get the water out and stop the corrosion from happening in there. Uh, so I opened up all the plugs, which, my god, there's not really that many. For being an electric motor, you'd think it'd be a lot more complicated. Uh, so I squeezed that stuff in there, squished the plugs back together. I tried to get as much water out as I could before I put in the Lanacote. And then when I put the water, the uh, plugs back together with the line of code in there, more water just gushed out. So I know it displaced everything. So we're good there. Uh, it's time to fire it up, see if it'll work. This is what an electric motor looks like. You have a little tiny electric motor right there and a whole mess of wires and then another electric motor over there. And the two electric motors attach via a drive pulley, which is right there through the shaft down at the bottom, which is there, and they run out to the propeller, which goes through there. So this is the setup. And then each side you have a control module over here and another one over here. And those are to each independent motor. And then this guy here is the control module to everything. It's got just three little plugs on it. So I opened up each of these plugs Actually, I only opened up these two. This guy's apparently not a plug. It's just a mass of wires going in. Uh, thankfully, it's waterproof. So I opened up these two, and I put Lanacote in there, and then each motor has these two plugs that run to it. It's very simple. These two wires here go to this motor, and then down on the control modules themselves, there's one plug here, and then one plug on the other side of the motor. That's it. Those were all the plugs that this thing has. So it's a very simple system. So less to have, less to go wrong. So we've gotten everything greased up. And let's see if she runs. So I'm going to turn on the battery switch that is right here. I already have the key in the on position. And the thing's in gear, so if it works, it should go. Oh, we have a click. And we have spinning! It works! Maz, it works again! All right. Back in business. We got the air conditioner fixed. We got the motor running again. We got the plumbing issue fixed. All that's left is a little tiny battery charger. Well, that guy there was... That guy's dead. But right now we're just running the motor off the solar panels, and they're keeping it nice and charged. So this guy's running. Awesome. That is sweet. So, that's pretty good. This electric motor was completely underwater for several hours. And it's still running fine. So, that is... Uh, I could not say the same if this were a diesel. We'd be looking at a huge repair bill and possibly an entire rebuild. Where with this electric motor, I just used some line of coat that I already had from rigging jobs and just put it in there with the plugs. And now it's running. Awesome. Thanks so much for watching. And we hope that you will like this video and subscribe to our channel for uh, updates on our adventures. And when you subscribe, make sure you click on the little bell. That way you'll get notifications as soon as the next video is uploaded. Thank you so much!